You're watching Talk with Audrey. Welcome back. Every day, more than 115 Americans die after overdosing on opioids. And one of the most powerful factors driving opioid dependence and addictive behavior is opioid withdrawal. And joining me today to discuss this growing health problem is Dr. Denise Shalom from the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern. Good morning, doctor. Hello. What are the latest misuse rates of opioids? The numbers uh, you know, continue to be uh, of significant concern. Last year, we had over 70,000 individuals that we lost to opioid overdose. We continue to lose over 200 individuals every day. Most of these individuals are, you know, tend to be between the age of 17 and 55. So it, it remains um, an issue of significant concern uh, to our society. That's a staggering number of deaths attributed to opioid abuse. Well, I understand that there's a high rate of relapse for those in recovery from opioid misuse. Why is that? It's a good question. Um, you know, the opioid use disorders, uh, they are um, considered to be uh, chronic relapsing um, diseases of the brain. Um, and what is really important is uh, to understand the impact of uh, withdrawal on the maintenance of this disease or the relapse. So uh, the fear of relapse or inadequately treated uh, withdrawal, um, the fear of withdrawal, inadequately treated withdrawal, partially treated withdrawal, all of these contribute significantly to uh, frequent relapses. What is opioid withdrawal syndrome and what are the symptoms? So opioid withdrawal syndrome is, uh, you know, a well-recognized and studied um, syndrome that uh, patients experience um, within a few hours of uh, abrupt, abrupt discontinuation of opioids. Um, and, uh, you know, patients will describe this as, uh, you know, the worst flu of their lives or the worst headache of their lives. You know, when, when patients come into uh, Northwestern for treatment, we do an exam where we, uh, you know, look at their pupils, um, a general physical exam, uh, you know, study tremors, et cetera. Um, typical symptoms are, um, you know, nausea, vomiting, uh, severe chills, uh, sweating, runny nose, teary eyes, um, rapid heart rate, uh, restlessness, um, anxiety, agitation, depression, and even suicidal ideation um, sometimes. And these withdrawal symptoms can be uh, very uncomfortable. Uh, patients uh, often describe this experience as, as, as if they feel like they're going to die. Um, and, and so uh, one can understand why they go through um, all kinds of efforts to maintain the addiction to avoid that experience. How are withdrawals addressed? Uh, well, in our field, we're very excited about the introduction of Lucimera as uh, one of our uh, treatment options. It is the first and only non-opioid uh, medication that helps us, uh, you know, treat patients and, and help them abruptly discontinue opioid use. Um, it can be used at any level of care, including outpatient, if the physician, if the physician is comfortable doing that. Um, you know, we. Uh, would recommend uh, doing this under the care of a physician. Um, the medication has, uh, you know, some side effects like any other medication, lowering blood pressure, um, you know, lowering the heart rate, uh, uh, some dizziness um, and dryness of mouth, that sort of thing. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, it, it helps us transition patients off of opioids um, in, in a week's time or even less. Doctor, where can my viewers go for more information? Well, uh, they should uh, work with their physician or go to lucimara.com. I appreciate you joining me. Thank you.